Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and this is trading episode 5. I just want to say a couple of things first. About the Fletcher, I've been getting a lot of people say that I changed his formation. I did not change his formation. If you would have seen that, my money would have gone down quite a lot. So 4 for one, 1 formation isn't that cheap, I don't think. But if people buy him and then change their formation, and I've still got him in this little um, green tick thingy here, he will change to that formation it's like if somebody changes the position as well as you can see he's also actually been resold for 15k so yeah that's just to say that we've got a couple of things still to sell i'm not too sure why a load of people are saying that about the fletcher really why would i change his formation saying i made a loss and all this is bullshit but i don't really care whatever so we'll go in and buy some other people um i'm going to search for pacific players again because i've only got still only got 20k and it's not really great for making the profit i'm going to actually go look for a leads player Robert Snodgrass, of course, he is my favourite player. Plus, he's quite good to trade with. If you can pick him up relatively cheap at the moment, I think he is going for quite cheap. You see, 3.5k, 9.5k. He's actually getting price locked by the looks of it. One for 400 coins, open bid. A couple of open bids. Um, let's have a little look. They're all open bids, really. It's about 3.7k, apparently. So, if we go to buy now and set it to about, let's try like 2.5. Is it, oh, is it a 2.6k one here? 2.5 and 1.9. Okay, I'm going to buy the 1.9k one, purely because I think I can make profit on that. We'll sign him now, and we'll put him into our trade pass. It's going to be a little bit of money-making tips. I'm doing it live again, so bear with me. I am not the best trader, as we all know. We'll reset that. We'll look for another player I like to trade with. Tried trading with him in the last uh, one of the last episodes, but he wasn't actually at a great price. It's uh, Mikael Smith, another Scottish player. I don't know why I keep going too far down. Scotland's up there. He is a striker. And he's quite good for tradings. Oh, Christ, he's getting price locked quite high. What's that? How long's that left? Six hours, shit. But he's getting price locked at 9k, but looks like so you can pick him up for any anything cheaper than that. Always look at the buy now. The market's kind of strange at the moment. It seems like a lot of pages just seem same over and over again. So if we try and look, it's like a sneaky 3.3k. There is a couple on the market. One for 1.8k there. He's in a horrible formation, but we're going to buy that one because I think we can get more than that for him. Um, 2.2k is not bad either. I'm going to buy one. Oh, shit. Press trade offer. Sorry about that, guys. That was a bit of a fail. But that's the one I've already got. We'll buy the one for 2.2k as well. Because I think I can get around 3k for them. Which, at the moment, that's good profit. 800 coins profits or so is good profit at this stage of our trading series. So that's a couple more players we've bought. And I'm going to go try the silver method again while we're here. Because it's the best tip I've got. Personally, I really like using it, but it is getting overused at the moment, so it's actually getting a lot harder to find. But we'll see if we can pick up any cheap ones here. Is there going to be any shinies on the first page? There's one right there. He's not too bad, actually. We can get him for 300 coins. He's probably selling for a lot more. That guy there, 300 coins. He's not in a great, he's not a great one at all, to be honest. He's quite hard to trade with. I tried trading with him before. Um, not much else going on by the looks of things here. Some right back here. He's on 350 by now, so we know that he's not going to sell for a lot. Let's keep going through the pages. Got to look at the non shiny ones as well, guys. Some of them do have profit in them, but it's a lot harder to find. The shiny ones seem to make the most profit. He's not too bad. Oh, God, look at that guy. But yeah, not looking like there's much going on here, guys, unfortunately. Chadwick there, not too bad. He's played for Manu, I do believe. Whatever happened to him? Not looking like we're getting many ones happening here at this time of night, guys. About 1 o'clock in the morning. Actually, we've got someone here. He's quite nice for 300 coins. Wouldn't be too bad picking up him. He's not that great to trade with. Tried trading with him before. But actually, I've missed somebody there who is quite nice to trade with. Let's go back, back, back. I hope he's still there. Bertrand. There we go. Let's try 300 coins for him. Probably won't get him for that. He does sell for right a K on a good day. That guy's quite a nice formation and stuff. Prib. Fantastic name. We'll buy him. Of course, so we'll probably look for one or two more. We're getting quite high up in the minutes now. It's gone over two minutes. Three minutes we're into now. So I'll end that one there. And we will just go for searching for another player I like to trade with, which is Oxley Chamberlain. A really good player to trade with, guys, if you're looking for that easy profit. If you can get in front of 10k sometimes, let's see what his price is at the moment. Looks like he's going for over... Oh, that's one by now, 10k. That might not be too bad, actually. Ten K by now is looking pretty darn good. Let's have a little look. 
Frimpong is involved as well, so if we do get one on the low, it might be Frimpong. So if I click now, it's probably going to be Frimpong's. Frimpong's for days! There he is, the man himself. Loads and loads and loads of Frimpong's. Um, so it's 10k, wasn't it? So we'll try putting it onto 10k and see if we can pick up an Oxide. Oh, there's loads of him at 10k, that's quite annoying. 9.9k in a decent formation. No, there's too many at 10k, so that was a bit of a fail, guys, unfortunately. We will reset that, and we will look for a... Uh, let's have a little look. I'm actually going to try uh, trading in a gold now. I quite like trading in Mata. Is he a left wing or a left mid? I can't remember. It's a left wing. Now he goes for, like... Oh, shit. Okay, let's try a little bidding war here, guys. As you can see, he goes for around, let's see, six, six, just over 6k by now. So if we can get this one for anything less, then we're happy days. But, you know, it's going to be a bit of a trouble. Oh, shit, we've been outbidded on Bertrand. 400 coins. This is where the, this is where the maniac stuff happens. I'm going to up that to 4k just to try and off put the guy off. What's happening on Bertrand? We're getting outbid. 550. Okay, we're going to outbid again on Mata by the looks of it. 4100. We'll try 5k. It's all happening now, guys. We've got that guy. Looking good on Bertrand. Looking good, looking good. What's happening here? 5k would be a snatch. Are we not going to get... Oh, shit. Someone's outbidding me on Bertrand. This is all live, guys. This is where the magic happens. This is all the panic. We'll try 7k for Bertrand. What's happening with Mao? We've been outbid. We'll up into 5-7. He is in a 4-4-2, though. Not a very desired formation for a left winger. But if we can get for anything less than about 6.5, we're looking at a very, very, very good deal. Bertrand. We got Bertrand, but... Yeah, Matt is struggling a bit. 6k would be still a snatch. It's all going to be live, guys. I'm doing a live episode for you guys. This one I'm going to show you the what I sold them for at the end of these players I bought. Might buy a couple extra players off air. Off air? Sorry, not when I'm recording, I should say. It was a bit of a fail. But if we're going to pick up for 6k by well, looks of it, guys, uh, go green, please. Go green, Matt. Ah. Damn you. Is this guy going green? He's gone green. He's gone green. Matter's not gone green. What the hell's happened there? Have I been outbid or something? Or are they just trolling me? He's gone green. There we go, guys. So I will be back shortly when I put these on the market. And yeah, so be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. And as you can see, we are at 28k just over now. We've still some players yet to sell. So we have made profit in this episode. As you can see, all of them still on the market at the moment. We're going to make a loss on a few of them, I think, or I'll get our money back. But as you can see here, that guy's still for 500 coins. 450 for that guy there. The Bertrand actually went for 1,200, which is quite nice. 700 coins for that guy. The Mikhail Smith, 3,100 and 3,000. So we've made nice profit on them. And the Snodgrass going for 4k as well. It's really nice profit. And eventually, the matter did sell for 7,900. So again, really nice profit on each of them players. So we're at 28k, as I've just said, plus these players to sell. We're looking at well over 30k at the end of this. So we're doing quite well so far it's going slow but the first up to 50k does go quite slow then you start play playing with the golds and the informs stuff like that and you can make big money profit so hopefully you guys are still enjoying this series i should say and yeah so thank you very much for watching this episode please remember to comment like and subscribe and i'll be back with more of these soon so thank you very much and bye